daughter, right? That, he's mine. So, but, uh, <laughs> so I, I think that uh, tech gets a little bit of a bad rap these days. Um, we can be a little bit arrogant in our industry. Uh, we, we, you know, the pace of change has been accelerating and we can be a little bit thoughtless about the implications of the things that we're building. But I think sometimes when we worry about that, we, we fail to like properly weight the amazing benefits that we've already received and we're continuing to receive from all these great things we've developed, specifically around the democratization of access to information. And so by that, I mean, like for example, some of the finest universities in the world have now made all of their courseware available completely for free to anybody who's motivated to learn, which is amazing, right? But also we have this new class of devices out there that give you all kinds of information that normally you, had, you used to have to get through some kind of intermediary. So you can buy these health trackers that give you this real-time information that you used to have to get from your doctor, right? And, or there are other devices that give you info that you used to have to get from the government. So, for example, for those of you who don't know, at Calliope, we built this device called Buoy. It's a smart home device that attaches to your house, and we have an app that shows homeowners how much water they're using for different activities. Like, we can tell if you're using your water for outdoor watering or for showering, and we can tell you how much, and we tell you how much water you're losing to leaks, because it turns out that's quite a lot. And this is really critical information because, of course, as most of us know, access to clean, potable water is one of the biggest issues that faces our generation, uh, both domestically and internationally. And until now, homeowners haven't really had the information they need about how much water we really need for certain critical functions, for things that are important to us. So we haven't been able to be informed participants in a conversation with our government about how that water gets allocated and how it gets priced. And that's a problem, right? And I think all of us in the last year have learned or relearned, as the case may be, how important it is to speak truth to power, right? We know that. <laughs> um, and you can't speak truth to power if you're not well informed. So that's a big part of what motivates me every day, is just the, the ability to arm people with really critical information, at least in this one area. Uh, that's really exciting to me. And I can't think of a better community to do something like this than here in Santa Cruz. Um, you know, we, here of course, you know, we have lots and lots of well-qualified people in technology, and of course for us also in like environmental science and water policy and all that, and that's great. But we also just have a really engaged community, a very diverse community, that's, uh, that's very passionate about these issues, doesn't easily settle for the status quo, um, wow. <laughs> um, are, and frankly are kind of feisty, iconoclast, rabble rousers, you know, sometimes difficult. I'm projecting a little bit here, but, you know, but, but we are as a community that way. And I believe if you can make something thrive in this community, if you can satisfy this community, then you've really got something. And you've got, you know, we've got a really rich community that, that comes out and supports each other. And so that's my vision for Santa Cruz Tech, is that we'll see the entire West Side filled with lots of little companies, small and medium-sized companies, that are building real things that solve real problems. And that we're getting to the point now where we have critical mass of startups and companies that are getting to the point where they can, they're successful enough that they can, they can extend a hand down to the next generation of companies that are coming up. And as we add more and more companies to this mix and more voices to this conversation, it just strengthens the entire ecosystem. Okay.